Hello friends, in today's documentary, we'll talk about Tesla's mysterious connection to aliens. Did the scientist really communicate with intelligent beings from other planets? The famous inventor for alternating current, Nikola Tesla was born on July 9, 1856 in the village of Similian, Gospici Commune, on the shores of the Adriatic Sea. His father was the orthodox priest Milutin Tesla, and his name came from the basic tool of carpentry, a basic profession in the Istro-Roman family. His mother was Gitsa Tesla, a woman with brilliant intelligence, even though she had no education. Nikola Tesla's life moved with his family to Gospik, Tesla attended Karlovac Gymnasium in Karlovac, where he completed his four-year education in three years. He later began studying electrical engineering at the University of Graz, during which time he experimented and learned several uses of alternating current. Although some sources say that Tesla was a graduate of the University of Graz, in fact, the university stated that he did not obtain any degree and did not pass further in the semester of the third year, when he dropped out of classes. In 1878 he left Graz, severed ties with his family and moved to Maribor, now Slovenia, where he obtained his first job as a sub-engineer, where he worked for a year. Later, convinced by his father, Tesla enrolled in the courses at Carolina University in Prague, where he attended until the summer of 1880, and with the death of his father he left the university, finishing only one course. Nikola Tesla spent a lot of time reading books, which he memorized entirely because of his photographic memory. It is said that during his childhood he had several episodes of illness. A condition that manifests itself by the appearance of blinding beams of light in front of the eyes, often accompanied by hallucinations. These hallucinations were also associated with a word or ideas that followed him and offered him the solution to a problem that concerned him. Tesla could visualize in real form any object or name he heard a condition that is currently called synesthesia because it has similar symptoms. That's why he wasn't used to making sketches of his inventions, because he designed everything with his mind. From childhood, Nikola Tesla had premonitions of the events that were to take place. In 1880 he first worked for the National Telegraph Company. In 1880 he moved to Budapest, where he worked for the National Telegraph Company, which later became the National Telephony Company. Here he met a young Serbian inventor from Austria, Nibodj Petrovic, with whom he worked on a project that used twin turbines to generate continuous energy. Tesla became the company's chief electrician and later an engineer for the country's first telephone system. Nikola Tesla invented the induction motor in 1882. Nikola Tesla moved to Paris to work as an engineer at the Continental Edison Company, one of Thomas Edison's companies where he designed improvements to electrical equipment brought from the other side of the ocean. This year, Tesla invented the induction motor and began working on several devices that used the rotating magnetic field, and for this he received patents in 1888. Soon, Nikola Tesla had a dream in which his mother had died, and, waking from his sleep, he realized that his mother's death had actually taken place. After this incident, Tesla fell ill and spent three weeks recovering in the village of Tomingaj. In June 1884, Nikola Tesla arrived in the United States for the first time in New York, along with a letter of recommendation from Charles Batchelor, a former employee, to Thomas Edison. People, you are one of them, the other is this young man. Tesla was hired by Edison as a simple engineer, made rapid progress, and solved several difficult technical problems in the company. So he was asked to completely redesign all of Edison's DC generators. Tesla claimed that it was offered $50,000, $1.1 million in 2007. Adjusted for inflation, to redesign inefficient engines and generators in Edison's company, and on that occasion helped both improve services and products provided by Edison, as well as financial income. When Tesla asked about the promised payment in 1885, Edison replied, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor, and thus broke the verbal understanding of the payment. Tesla worked for $18 a week, and in order to reach the promised amount of money, 
He would have had to work for 53 years. Nikola Tesla applied for a salary increase to $25 a week, which was denied, and he immediately quit his job. Nikola Tesla started his own company, Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing in 1886. Tesla opened his own company, but the company's investors did not agree with his plans to manufacture an AC motor and eventually fired him. He ended up working in New York as a worker digging ditches in order to support himself, but also to continue his research in polyphase AC systems. This conspiracy theory states that the inventor was contacted by aliens who helped him over time. However, this theory is not without its foundations. In a 1901 article in Collier's Weekly, Tesla claimed to have listened to extraterrestrial communications at its Colorado Springs lab in 1899. One night, Tesla tested a unique radio antenna designed to monitor storms, claiming to have intercepted communications from extraterrestrial intelligent beings. Tesla speculated that the aliens were probably from Mars, and became obsessed with further improving its technology so that it could continue to communicate with these entities, during my experiments with wireless telegraphy. I encountered an amazing phenomenon. The most striking of all is the interception of signals that I think come from space beyond our planet. I think it is possible that these signals were sent by the inhabitants of other planets to the inhabitants of the Earth. It all caused quite a stir at the time. With many articles appearing in the media, even Tesla's rival, Thomas Edison, was fascinated by the idea of using radio technology to communicate with aliens on Mars. Tesla Generator Invention of 1895 Along with the inventions of gas liquefaction, Tesla invented the so-called Tesla generator. He knew that from Kelvin's discoveries, liquid air absorbed more heat than was theoretically required when it returned to the gaseous state and was used to move certain devices. Shortly before completing his research in this field and patenting his invention, a fire broke out in his laboratory and all his equipment, inventions and models were destroyed. Carl von Lind soon filed a patent for the same invention in Germany. A series of demonstrations, projects and concepts conceived and put into practice by Tesla followed. He demonstrated with various machines at the American Institute of Electrical Engineering at Columbia University that all types of devices could be powered by a single cable without a return. Conductor in 1893, thanks to Tesla's discoveries, the first hydroelectric power plant was built at Niagara Falls, and in 1896 electricity was delivered to Buffalo, New York. Tesla was considered the founder of the electrical industry. In his honor, the unit of measurement of the magnetic field in the international system of units is called, Tesla, 1 Tesla equals 1 T. Prior to his death, the press claimed that Nikola Tesla was working on a project called Deadly Ray. It could destroy any military target hundreds of miles away. Here are some of Tesla's inventions that were never built. Earthquake machinery. In 1893, Tesla patented a mechanical steam-powered oscillator that would vibrate at an astonishing speed to generate electricity. A few years after obtaining the patent for the invention, Tesla said that starting the machine in its laboratory in New York caused the Earth to vibrate. During the test, he continued to increase the power of the machine until he heard several cracks. Suddenly, he says, the whole machine began to cause strong movements of the Earth. Then I took a hammer and destroyed the machine. Otherwise, the building would have collapsed in a short time. Police and ambulances immediately arrived in the area, but Tesla told police to tell police it was just an earthquake. Thought Camera Tesla thought he could photograph his thoughts. He was inspired by his experiments in 1893. Decades later, Tesla told the press, which could have been taken over by a certain type of device. Tesla was convinced that the image reflected on an artificial retina could be photographed and projected on a screen. If this could be done, the object that a person imagines could be reflected on a screen as it is formed. Wireless energy. In 1901, Tesla procured $150,000 from Bachelor J.P. Morgan to build a 56-meter high mushroom-shaped tower. With the help of the tower, it would have been possible to send messages, phone calls and pictures across the Atlantic Ocean. 
At the beginning of work on the Warden Cliff Tower, Tesla said it wanted to power New York City with air. But Morgan did not want to fund other inventor ideas. Tesla abandoned the project in 1906 before it became operational, and the Warden Cliff Tower was destroyed in 1917. Artificial Tidal Creation The engineer believed that the power of science could be used to prevent wars. In 1907, New York World announced a new military invention made by Tesla through which powerful explosives placed at sea could be detonated from a distance to destroy enemy ships. The newspaper stated that the tides would make it impossible for ships to navigate. Powered supersonic planes. From childhood, Tesla was fascinated by flying. Combining his knowledge of electrical and mechanical engineering, he began designing new types of aircraft machinery after the failure of the Warden Cliff Tower project. In a July 1919 article, Tesla discussed the development of a supersonic aircraft that would fly about 13 miles above the ground at a speed that would have allowed passengers to travel from New York City to London in just three hours. Tesla also wanted the aircraft to be powered by wireless power from ground-based power plants. Deadly Ray Throughout his life, Tesla's brilliant mind never ceased to have new visions. On his 78th birthday, the scientist told the New York Times that he would make one of the most important inventions. One that would cause the instant death of enemies. The military weapon would have accelerated mercury particles to a speed 48 times faster than sound inside a vacuum. With a high-velocity beam being transmitted through the air, which could destroy a fleet of 10,000 enemy aircraft within a radius. Over 400 kilometers, Tesla proposed the idea to many governments, including the United States, but the only country interested in Tesla's invention was the Soviet Union, which conducted a partial test in 1939. Tesla Curiosities Things you didn't know about the life of scientist Nikola Tesla The US government confiscated all of Tesla's belongings. When he died, the Foreign Office seized his property. Later, some of the goods were handed over to his family and others were donated to the Tesla Museum in Belgrade. Tesla and writer Mark Twain were very good friends. Nikola Tesla was afraid of germs and bacteria, so he washed his hands frequently with soap and water. He did not like shiny objects, especially pearls. He was repulsed by people who wore pearls and refused to talk to them. He only agreed to be touched by people he had known for a long time. He knew eight languages, Serbo-Croatian, Czech, English, French. German, Hungarian, Italian and Latin. He liked to count everything he saw along the way, footsteps while walking, coffee cups, snacks, etc. He could store entire books because of his photographic memory. Tesla slept only two hours a night. He was caught in his lab working 84 hours without any sleep break. Nikola Tesla was never married. Although, according to press reports, a lot of women were in love with Tesla, it did not pay much attention to them. On his deathbed, Tesla said, I think the decision not to marry me was too much of a sacrifice for my work. Nikola Tesla was seen alone in most places. In the last years of his life, he ran out of money and moved from one place to another until he finally settled in a hotel in New York, where his rent was paid by Westinghouse. On the morning of January 7, 1943, the scientist of humanity, as Tesla was also called, was found dead by a housekeeper in his hotel room.